hello everyone uh, today i'll be focusing more on medical device standards uh, as you know the medical devices are subjected to strict general controls and procedure regulations uh, to ensure safety and efficacy of medical devices right uh, there are numerous medical uh, regulatory agencies and standard organizations uh, available so these uh, regulatory agencies and standard organizations collaborate to establish the accepted standards for the medical devices. A few of them are listed below. Uh, those are uh, Food and Drug Administration, it's called FDA, uh, the Joint Commission on Accreditation of uh, Healthcare Organizations, uh, JZ, uh, the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments, it's called uh, CLIA. Uh, International Organization for Standardization uh, ISO, uh, International Electrotechnical Commission IEC, and the American Society for Testing and Materials ASTM. So these are not limited to uh, this. There are a lot of uh, other agencies and organizations also available. So when you develop a medical device, uh, the type of device determine the agency and standards to choose. So you probably need to do some research to de determine which regulatory agency is responsible for your type of device. So for example, uh, the knowledge and conformance to standards recognized by FDA is the key if, you de if your device to be approved for the sales in USA. Uh, we will go through some of the uh, standards organization which develop and publish standards for medical products uh, such as ISO, IEC and STM. So ISO is a, a non-government organization that develop and publish international standards on a wide range of subjects including medical devices. So by following this standard you will be able to ensure your product is safe, uh, reliable and of good quality. So I have some examples listed here. Uh, the first one is the ISO 13485. So ISO 13485 is a quality management standard. Uh, ISO 13485 established the requirements for a good quality management systems for uh, both the design and manufacture of the medical devices. Uh, the other one is ISO 14971. Uh, it's a risk management standard, defines application of uh, risk management to the, to the medical devices. Uh, the other one is ISO 10993, it's a standard for the biological evaluation of medical devices. And ISO 11607, it's a standard for the packaging for terminally sterilized medical devices. Uh, now we'll see uh, some of the standards under International Electrotechnical Commission. So uh, it's called IEC. Uh, it's a non-government organization that prepares and publishes uh, international standards for all electrical, electronic, and uh, related technologies. Uh, the first one, the IEC 60601. It's a it's a series of uh, technical standards uh, for the safety and effectiveness of medical electrical equipment. Uh, the IEC 62304, uh, it's a medical device software standard. Uh, it's for focused on software lifecycle processes and uh, it is used when the software itself a medical device or the software as a part of, as an integral part of a medical device. So, th uh, the another example for uh, IEC uh, standard is IEC 62366. Uh, it's an application of usability engineering to the medical devices. Uh, now we'll see some of the standards under ASTM, uh, American uh, Society for uh, Testing and Materials. Uh, it's a globally recognized leader in the development and delivery of numerous international standards. Uh, it's more focused on uh, to promote public health and safety. Uh, to the protection and sustainability of the environment, uh, the reliability of materials, products, systems, and services, etc. So, this per ASTM standards are approximately established 12,000 standards, which covers a wide range of science and engineering field, including biomedical engineering. 
uh, I have listed a few of the ASTM standards below. Uh, the one, the first one, ASTM F two nine one four one two. It's established a standard gate for identification of shelf life test attributes for uh, endovascular devices. Uh, other one is ASTM F two zero nine seven. Uh, it's a standard gate for design and evaluation of uh, primary flexible packaging for medical devices. Uh, the ASTM F247511. Uh, it's a standard gate for biocompatibility evaluation of medical device packaging materials. And the ASTM F108918. It's a standard test method for corrosion of surgical instruments. There are a lot of uh, ASTM standards are available, so this is uh, a few of them. Uh, so you'll be able to find a, a huge list of ASTM standards, uh, particular to the device you develop. Uh, here I have a documentation of all the informations which we discussed in this video. Um, it includes all the uh, considerations and standards and examples. So this uh, uh, document you will be able to download in the link provided in the description of this video. Uh, hopefully it will be helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment and stay tuned. Uh, see you. See you again with a different topic in a different video. Thank you.